Yo, what's good boys? Today we got a build video. This is the base we've been using in all of our wipes. If you've seen the wipe we just posted, this is the base we were building. It's a four to six man base. It's got a mini china wall. It's got a compound. It's got six externals. Got a lot of peaks and respawns. So without further ado, let's get right into the tour. All right, so first off, we come through one of our six gatehouses. Each one of these gatehouses holds one of our six externals. On top of each one of these gatehouses, we have turrets peeking into the compound in case anyone's trying to jump in and steal your loot. It's connected by a mini Satori disconnectable TC design. We come through this garage door. We have a window for great visibility outside of the compound, as well as our TC, which can hold close to a week's worth of upkeep. We come through here, one of our six gatehouses into our china wall, which has peaks inside the china wall, as well as outside into the compound, and a bed and a locker for respawns during a raid, as well as a window for visibility. We come through here. Greeted with six large furnace spots, as well as a bunch of spots for turrets. If you take a walk around here, we go to one of our two airlocks that takes us into our base. Each one of these airlocks has an accessibility port all the way up to our shooting floor with a ladder hatch in case you need to grab a kit and run back up there to defend a raid. Spot for a large battery or a locker as well. From here, we enter into our shell. Our shell is supported with inner peaks in case someone breaches your shell. It's easy to kill them and look down, they can barely see you come through here into our starter airlock which is we're greeted by a tier 3 as well as three spots for loot rooms one that can convert into a loot room which i usually put small furnaces there in the beginning of the wipe over here is our tc our upkeep's a little pricey but this is if the base is completely finished and upgraded we can easily house one day of upkeep in there we come to the second floor more loot rooms which can be converted into mixing table rooms it's really up to you guys our third floor has our bedrooms as well as two out of four of our large batteries lockers beds small boxes whatever you guys need now on to our inner peak floor we have visibility into our inner peaks as well as two rooms for bedrooms and lockers we have some boxes in here to house ceiling supplies if you guys need some pretty standard peaks but they work well we come through here which takes us back up to our fourth floor our shooting floor more bedrooms, more visibility, more lockers. Come through here, which is our shooting floor. We have wide gaps, really good angles. We have a drop down peak. And here's our accessibility port. We go back into our main part of the base. It takes us up to our fifth floor, which is a double mini garage with bedrooms and lockers for respawns, as well as drop box storage. Through here, we come to our roof which can house up to six windmills. I know there's only four here, but it can house up to six. A lot of spots for turrets, but uh, that's about it. So from here, let's get right into the build. We're gonna start with a circle of six triangle foundations, and then six square foundations off of each one of these triangles, as well as more triangle foundations to fill in the gaps. From here, we're gonna wanna choose one of our triangle foundations to make our airlock, and we're gonna wall in the rest of the foundation. From the left of the airlock, we're going to build our jump up. And then to the left of that, we're going to build a spot for our TC to go, which we're going to cover with a window frame. When we're done with that, we're going to start covering in the top of our core. Now we're gonna locate each one of these triangle foundations and wall them in to create honeycomb for our loot rooms. Once we do that, we can come over to our loot rooms and start building them. Half a wall and a platform. We're gonna leave the middle one because I usually use that for small furnaces in the beginning of the wipe. You can easily convert that afterwards towards the end of the wipe for whatever you need it for. I like to put ramps in here as well because if they raid through the back wall, they'll get your loot, but they won't be able to get into the middle of your core. They'll have to raid through those ramps. From here, we're going to come up top, finish up our jump up, and just like that, the starter core is finished. After we do that, this is what it should look like when it's fully upgraded. Now that we're done with the first floor, we're going to locate our airlock place a stone foundation off of that three triangles off of that and another stone foundation we're going to keep repeating that all the way around the base to start laying out the foundations for our shell from here we're going to come down to one of our stone square foundations 
and we're going to start building our externals because we want to claim the build spot before anyone takes it. Four squares out, one triangle, break the squares behind it. We're going to build back with four triangles, one more square, and upgrade that to stone. We're going to delete the twig triangles. From here, we're going to build one square foundation, upgrade it, four twig triangle foundations, another square foundation, and one more triangle foundation to house our external TC. From here, we're going to build two half walls, a wall to the left, and a triangle on top. We're going to place our TC. We're going to cover it with a window, and then we're going to put a window on it. We're going to come over here to our square foundation. We're going to build a frame and a square frame on top of that. Triangle frame off of our, our TC, connect it back just like that, and you're done with one of your externals. You're going to do this all the way around on each one of the square foundations facing out. From here, we're going to want to build our gatehouses, a triangle foundation to the right and left of this square foundation. We're going to place two roof triangles facing out and we're going to add window frames to cover them in just like this from here we're going to look back at the base and place a frame a wall to the left top and right of it and then two walls above those windows and a window frame right there we're going to cover it in and place a square right on top of the frames we're going to do this on all six sides from here we're going to build out our footprints just like this, triangle, 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 another one. So it should look something like that. From here, a half wall, a window frame, and a half wall. We're going to place a triangle so we could jump up and view outside of that window frame. We're going to do that on the same side as well. I have symmetry turned on for this, but for you guys, just do this on each one of these external gatehouses. We're going to go ahead and jump up here, place two more triangles, which are going to use them later for our barricades come over here we're going to grab a stone wall so we can close in our china wall we're going to place it so that it is even on both sides of the window frames as you can see it's almost to the middle of them just like that and now you're done with your china wall we're going to hop up here and we're going to get ready to place our barricades so that we can start sealing in our china wall we're going to place twig here 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 and right there the triangles on the end are important so we can place our barricades. The rest, you can place as much as you want depending on what you need to walk on. We're going to come over to our middle. We're going to split the square in the middle between two barricades just like this. And then we're going to come to the right and place a barricade right there. We can delete the twig that we walked on. And we're going to come to the left and place our fourth and final barricade on top of our gatehouse. You're going to do this on all of them and it should look something like this. This is what it should look like once you place all your doors, your embrasures, and your furnaces in, fully upgraded and ready to go. We come through here, we have our bed and our locker as well as our window. And from here, we're going to get started on the second floor. To start our second floor, we're going to put our back to our jump up look across we're gonna build our jump up to the third floor to start it off from here we're gonna come to the right and we're gonna wall in the second floor we're gonna start placing the top to cover it in come over to the left and wall it in as well and place the top to cover it in we're gonna come to the right and we're gonna place walls to wall in our triangles just like we did on loot rooms before again you can make these into mixing table rooms so you don't have to do the loot rooms like i'm doing here but this is what i do for our second floor because most of the time we have raid loot that we need to place somewhere so i make an extra loot room or two up here come to the top finish up our airlock and just like that the second floor is done This is what it should look like when it's fully upgraded and outfitted with boxes, as well as upgraded to sheet metal. From here, we're going to start on our third floor. Again, we're going to put our back to our previous jump up and look across. We're going to build the jump up to the next floor to start it off. We're going to place our frames in, and like always, we're going to wall it all in. We're going to come to our previous jump up with the garage door. We're going to place a triangle above the previous triangle and place a window there. And another triangle. 
open a window. This is where we're going to put our first two batteries. We're going to come to the right and we can start covering in the top. We're going to wall in our triangles just like we did on the previous floors before. Just like this to create our rooms. And from here we're going to cover it in with squares and triangles in the middle. We're going to add our frames. And just like that you have your bedrooms and your battery compartments done. We're going to finish up our jump up to the next floor and with that frame it's finished. This is something that it should look like once it's fully upgraded and outfitted with beds, lockers and our batteries. For the next floor we're going to put our back to our jump up. We're going to look across and build the jump up to the next floor. We're going to locate the jump up we've just built, walk to the left and place two frames on the squares that you see and do the same thing on the right side. From here we're going to wall in these triangles and wall in the triangles right here as well. We're going to cover up the walkway we just made which is going to let us enter our inner peaks. The remaining space we're going to place a window frame and two walls to the right and left and we're going to cover this in. Within the two spaces, we're going to place two door frames and a double door frame. We're going to repeat this on the right side as well. Again, window frame and two walls. We're going to cover it in. We're going to place a wall frame and two doorways. From here, we're going to cover in the middle. Once we do that, this floor is done. We're going to have to come down to the bottom where our foundations are. Locate our airlock. We're going to go left to this square foundation and then one over to the right and place our frame. Again, we're going to locate the airlock, look down, one stone foundation, and place our frame. The placement might be a little confusing, so if anything, just rewind the video. But from here, we're going to wall in the rest of our shell. I'm going to fast forward this so you guys don't have to watch the whole thing. But essentially, we're just going to go four layers up the shell. And then from here... We're going to come into the floor we just built, walk out to one of the frames, and we're going to grab a triangle floor, place three triangles just like that, one triangle off the base, another three triangles, and then the rest I'm just going to speed up, and you're going to have to do this all the way around the shell. Right here, you're going to look down at the foundation below you, so in this case, it's a square foundation, so above you're going to place a square. And then you're going to finish covering in the rest of the shell. So again, square, three triangles. And you're going to go all the way around the shell with this. Once you finish this up, the inner peaks are done. So you're going to want to run back into the floor you just built. And go up to the jump up and just finish off the top of the jump up. This finishes up the inner peak floor. This is what it should look like once you get garage doors, beds, and lockers in there and get it fully upgraded to sheet metal. Come through here. I like to add a box there for ceiling supplies. This is what the peaks look like. You don't have to upgrade them, you could just keep them as stone. We now have to build our shooting floor, but first we have to do the footholds. So we're going to build our accessibility port, a frame and two window frames. And one more frame as well as two triangles right there. We're going to build a little half height jump up. Add a frame there. And we're going to wall this all in. Another jump up to the right. I like to add a lot of frames so we can throw garage doors in there. We're going to cover it up. And another layer of walls. From here, we're going to look up. Place a half wall and two windows to the right and left. From here, we're going to grab some floor triangles and cover it in. We're going to place a window frame here. We could put a battery or a locker there. We're going to cover that with a triangle and in the middle we're going to add a triangle frame at the top of the half wall. We're going to cover this in with two more half walls and this is going to be the spot where we add our triangle ladder hatch. So we're going to want to go grab that and we're going to throw that in there right now. Once you add all the double doors and garage doors it should look something like this. We're going to come up here, we got our spot with our locker and our ladder hatch. Once you're done doing that on the other side, you're going to come to one of your six gate houses and you're going to look down at your footprint. I'm going to turn on symmetry for this. You're going to place frames on the left, middle, and right. And you're going to make these frames go four high. 
you're going to want to do this on each one of the gatehouses. And once they're done, you're going to want to come to the footholds that are connected to the base. You're going to grab some more frames and you're going to go left, middle, right, just like we did before. And we're actually going to make these three high. And then in the middle one, we're going to add a half wall and then window frames to the left and right, similar to the accessibility chute. We're going to want to do that on all of the rest of the footholds that are connected to the base. So I'm going to go ahead and speed it up for you guys. This is what it should look like from the roof. We're going to come over to one of our frames. We're going to put a square in the middle. Triangle on the right and left. These drop downs are just going to be simple three triangles. And then in the middle, we're going to add a window frame. We're going to come over to the left and we're going to repeat what we did on the last one. So square, triangle, triangle. For our accessibility ports, we're just going to put two triangles because we have a frame in the middle. We're going to add a window. And we're going to do this going all the way around the base. So once you're done with that, it should look something like this. And from here, we're just going to start placing in our windows. On top of this window, we're going to add a half wall. And we're going to continue placing our windows. Again, the drop down, we're going to add a half wall above the window frame. And from here, you're just going to carry out the same process around the entire shooting floor. Once you're finished with that, we're going to put our back to our previous jump up. We're going to look across and we're going to build our jump up to the next floor. We're going to add our frame. We're then going to come to the left of this jump up and we're going to build our third battery compartment. We're going to add a window in front and then to the right, we're going to do the same thing for our fourth battery compartment. We're going to look over to the right, place two frames, two frames to the left as well. We're going to cover this in with floors and walls to the right and left. With the remaining space, we're going to build two more bedrooms. We're going to put a window in the middle and two walls to the left and right. We're going to cover it in. We're going to add doorways for our lockers as well as frames. And we're going to repeat this on the right side as well. Once you're done with that, we're going to cover in the top simple just six triangles and then we're going to come over to our jump up and we're going to finish it off with a frame when it's fully upgraded and outfitted with beds lockers and windows it should look something like this we got our batteries in the compartments like we said and we also have our beds and lockers our next step is we're going to start sealing in our shooting floor. So we're going to look below us and whatever there is below us, we're also going to place on top. So three triangles, three triangles, square, square. We're going to do this all the way around the base. From here, we're going to start connecting it to our windows. So again, we look below us, square, triangle, triangle. Over here, we have three triangles connected just like that. And again, we're going to do this all the way around the base until the entire shooting floor is sealed in. So once you're done sealing it in, it should look like this. From here, we're going to put our back to the previous jump up like always. Except on the other side, we're not building a jump up. We're actually building a drop box loot storage room. Throw a frame on there. Now to the left, we're going to put two frames. To the right, we're going to put two frames. We're going to wall these in, just like this. We're then going to come over to the right. We're going to make two more bedrooms. We're going to add a window frame, walls to the left and right. Triangles on top, a square on top. We're going to throw some doorways in there in the frame. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, window, wall, triangle, and square two doorways and if we cover this all in with that the mini garage is finished 
Once you fully upgrade and outfit the mini garage, it should look something like this. Once we're done with that, we're going to start placing our roofs. We're going to locate this part of the shooting floor. We're going to add triangle roofs on here. The triangles right here, we're going to add straight flat roofs right there. And we're going to do the same on this. So we're going to add triangle roofs right here and here and here. Again, we're going to come to the triangle. There's going to be a flat straight roof. And we're going to just continue this pattern all the way across the base. Once you're done with that, we're going to start placing our frames for our windmills. So we're going to place them on our squares, go all the way up three, and then place a square on top. We're going to do this four times. So again, we're going to look down and place on top of the squares, go up three frames, and place a square on top. Again, we're going to come over on the opposite side, place our three frames, go up, square on top. And for our last spot for our windmill, we're going to do the same thing. Again, for the other two, I like to add SAM sites. Or you could add another two windmills. It's really up to you guys. But that's what it should look like when it's done. We're going to go ahead and grab our windmills. And we're going to start to place them. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. We're just going to go on top of the squares. We're going to rotate them once. And we're going to place them going all the way around each one of the frames. From here, we're going to start placing our embrasures. Our shooting floor is a mix of vertical as well as horizontal embrasures. Most of them are vertical, so you can see where I'm placing the vertical ones. You're going to go all the way around the base. The windows that are facing outwards are all going to be vertical, and the drop-down peaks are going to be horizontal. Like I said, once the vertical embrasures are done, you're going to grab some horizontal embrasures and you're going to place them facing out of each one of the drop down peaks. We're now going to start building our external compound. We're going to place two triangle foundations just like that. The left side is going to get two frames and a triangle on top. And the right side is going to get one frame, a triangle on top, and a window. Once it's fully done, it should look something like this. Once you're done with that, you're going to want to grab yourself some high walls. You're going to position yourself right next to the gatehouse. You're going to make it come off the gatehouse just a little bit bent outwards, not completely straight. You're going to do the same thing on the other gatehouse. You're going to want to grab the wall and you're going to want to position it again so it's slightly slanted out. For the next two walls, you're going to want to actually slant them a little bit back in. It looks straight, but they're a little bit pointed back in. You're going to go to the left, do the same thing. And you're going to just make it so that you have enough space to place the last wall. For the barricades and turret pods above the gatehouses, you're just going to throw two half walls and you're going to cover it up with triangles. You're going to do this on each one of the sides. You're going to grab some twig. You're going to place a twig triangle to the left and the right. And then you're going to want to build something out that you can walk on. You're going to grab your barricade and you're going to position it so it splits the gatehouse in two. So one on the left, just like that, and one on the right. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and start taking away your twig and your barricade and turret pods are done. So the base is basically fully built. I'm just gonna show you some different spots you could put turrets. I definitely recommend putting a turret on top of these gatehouses. Um, it's really up to you. I usually do like 10 to maybe 15 turrets per wipe, but you're gonna go ahead and put a turret underneath this jump up right here in the shining wall, as well as this one right here. And there's another spot right here on the foothold that you could throw a turret down if you would like. On the roof, it's pretty simple. You're just going to want to make your way to this triangle right here. You can throw a turret down right here and push it up against the ramp. If you place enough, it should give you really good roof coverage so no one can land on top of your base. Last but not least, we're going to throw down some compound furnaces. 
this is really simple it's really up to you guys how many you want to put i usually put around five per section so we're going to throw one right there in the middle of the wall one to the left as well as one to the right and we're just going to finish it off throwing two more on the left and right And with that, guys, the base is fully complete. If you guys like this base, let me know in the comments. If there's anything you guys want me to change about this base, also let me know. We have an absolute banger of a video coming next week, so stay tuned. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.